How's it going guys? Jackson here with the Toasty Bros and today we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Master Liquid 240 by Master Cooler. I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm pretty excited, so let's go ahead and just get right into the unboxing because I want to actually see what this thing looks like. It's supposed to be Cooler Master's top of the line 240 millimeter liquid cooler. Now this of course is a all-in-one liquid cooler, so you never have to worry about servicing it or anything. You never have to worry about any of the water supplement that's in there leaking out or anything like that. Here's some dimensions on the back so you can figure out if it'll actually fit in your case. And then here's all the specifications on what type of CPU sockets, the radiator material, of course being aluminum, um, how many decibels the pump is, the fan, etc. Alright, and as you can see it comes in the typical Dairy Queen style cardboard packing, which this is pretty much what every cool I've ever gotten comes in. As you can see, it comes with their Master Fan Pro 120 AB fans. These are 120 millimeter, making it the 240 millimeter fitment on this 240 millimeter radiator. We have some extra stuff down here. So this is actually the brackets as far as mounting your CPU cooler onto your AM3 or Intel motherboard, whatever type of CPU socket type you have. This supports quite a bit of different socket types, hence why there's so many different things. And lastly, we have the cooler itself. So just be careful when you get this out not to push in any, any of these heat fins. All right, and we'll go ahead and take this out. And this thing, actually, the block on this is huge compared to... I actually have an HADI on my computer right now. It's the uh, the original model where it has the RGB logo. But uh, mine's actually it's square instead of being round. And it's a little... It's quite a bit lower profile. But hopefully this will actually get us better temperatures. So we're actually going to test this out with some benchmarking software, I'm just going to get a pretty simple test. We're just going to do a stress test and while we do that we're going to have temperatures up and we're going to see the difference of my HADI which is 120mm cooler compared to this 240mm cooler. Okay guys, so what I decided to do as my controlled experiment here, right now I'm using the HADI which is basically my stock cooler that I've been using forever. This is an 8350 that I believe is slightly overclocked but in this test that really doesn't matter too much. The main difference I'm trying to get at is seeing if a 240mm is really worth the upgrade from a 120mm cooler. So what I'm actually doing is running heavy load which is a test te a te stress test software. And I'm honestly not too sure exactly how good it is. It doesn't really matter to me though once again just because what I'm going to do is run it for about a minute and 30 seconds. So right now you can see I am getting 100% CPU usage on all 8 cores which that's a good start. And we're just watching this temperature right here which tells the current value and then the max peak that it gets at. So basically what I'm trying to get at is in 3 minutes we're trying to see how hot the CPU actually gets with the HADI compared to the Cooler Master 240 millimeter. So as you can see with the Cooler Master we had a about 3 degrees Celsius temperature difference and that was actually running at a longer period of time so basically the main conclusion is with the HADI I think we actually would have gotten an overheating issue if I had left it running too much longer but then the Cooler Master actually sustained that temperature for quite some time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys later.